Hi guys, I'm Abdul Mukit, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a beautiful keychain of your own name in Photoshop. As you can see, the final result will look like this, and uh, it's pretty cool. So let's get started. First of all, what we need to do is we need to open uh, images background in Photoshop called White Stain Stock. You can find the image on the description. Let's so select Open with Photoshop CS6 version. Here I'm using. Okay, here it is. Now go to image and then adjustment, uh, adjustment, then level. Select gamma level to 1.80 and set highlight level to 2010. Hit enter and then take your type tool and type your name or whatever word you like. Here it is. Okay, and then here I'm using a font uh, Pacifico. You can find that font on Google easily. Hit OK, and then make a copy of this layer just by hitting Control plus J on your keyboard. Hit Control plus J, and on the copy layer we are going to set fill to zero. There it is, and then on the original layer. Double click on the original layer to go into the blending option and go into bevel and imbevels and then select stroke imbevels and then size to 25 and then uh, then select gloss counter to cone check anti light and then highlight mode to linear light and then select set opacity to 50 and go into counter then select counter to count counter and then set anti-alize check anti-alized and now go to stroke and select uh, a stroke size 25 pixel um, a stroke move. wait let me zoom a little bit so that we can see clear what's going on here as you can see it's uh, under a stroke of black double click on it again and go to stroke and then select fill tab to gradient and now we are going to make a gradient for a uh, golden color as you can see currently it's a uh, silverish color maybe you can call it okay so let's make a gradient for gold color so hit here and then these are called color stops okay so select one color stop and then at location zero i'm going to change the color value to b7690 g hit enter and check out here as you can see some of the yellow color are applied to this area and then just click on anywhere to add a new color stop and then at location write 24 and then change the color at 24 to C68612 and then hit enter and then we are going to add another color stop at location 52 and then change the color to E0 b 3 one p hit ok and then we are going to add another color stop at location maybe 67 yep and then change the color value to f 8 d c 2 hit ok and then we are going to add another color stop at location 75 and then change the color value to E0 B31 B hit OK and then add another one at location 90 and then change the color value to C68 uh, maybe 612 yep that's it and then at location 100 change the color to C six seven nine one two. Okay, so we have created our gold gradient here. Hit OK, and then select 
style to reflect it and reverse and exit angle to 90 degrees hit ok ok so we are done with our second layer and it's looking pretty cool ok so let's select the first layer make sure your fill is 0 on this layer then double click on it to open the blending option and then get a bevel and bevels then select set the size to 60 and angles to 120 degrees and close counter to maybe ring double yep yeah, ring double and then highlight mode to wave light and shadow mode to color burn and change the color to change the color of shadow mode to 441732 hit ok and then go to control and then select uh, Gaussian hit ok and ok ok so we are done with both of our layer and it's looking really nice okay so let's open let's create a key ring for this text for that I'm going to open a new image and this time this one you can also find the link of the image on my description okay so let's just open it okay and then take a move tool and drag it to the main layer okay it's so small so we are going to resize this hit control plus T and then hold on shift key and then drag a little uh, it's look good and then I'm going to rotate it a bit then yes looking great okay adjust it until by using arrow keys and now I'm going to drag this layer below those text layer like this and now on the ring layer uh, double click it to open the blending options and in blending options we are going to add a inner glow inner glow set the mode to normal and then in color we are going to add ff e a zero zero and then hit ok and then see the difference a little glowing effect are applying here and hit ok and then in, in color one there is the layer of ring on ring layer we are going to add a go to adjustment and then add a photo filter and uh, for a filter the color value for photo filter will be um, e7 bc11 and hit ok and set the density to 70% 70% is looking too much let's take 40% and then hit ok and now when you are done with all the layer let just adjust all the layer just hold on control key and select both the text file and the ring so that they don't move okay let's center our text okay so I'm happy with this now select all the layer don't select background and hit control plus E to merge all the layer into one single layer so here we go control plus E okay so all the text are now merged into one single layer here you can see and now we're going to add a shadow effect on this layer double click to open the blending option and then go to drop shadow and in drop shadow set up distance to 25 and then select size to 20 then click ok and now we are done thanks for watching